We have shot the potato episode three times now so far. Uh, the first time I wasn't quite sure what was attacking the potatoes. So I don't know if you can tell, but on this side of Henry's snout right here, um, we think she ate a bee because her snout just swelled up last night. So we went to the vet this morning and she got a big shot of Benadryl in her nose. And it seems to be going down and she's definitely back to uh, being Henry. There are these all sorts of holes on my potato leaves and they're these little bug casings. So we're gonna go look at those right now and I have no idea what they are. So my potatoes have all these holes in them and there's this weird looking bug I saw here the other day and now all of a sudden I pulled a bunch of them off already but I saw these like little cocoons that looks like that. So I looked online and I couldn't find any pictures of this bug and what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna spray the potatoes with a uh, spray called Neem, N-E-E-M. Um, different companies make it, uh, Gardens Alive is one called Neem Away and you know, I mean they all have these names but it's basically Neem is from a tree bark, I think from the Neem tree actually. And what it'll do is it'll knock them down and it also affects their appetite so they don't want to eat. So I'm going to give them a spray. Here's just a, a regular sprayer that I have. This is, you know, I got this from the local big box store. And then you've got the sprayer here. And you have two different spray tips, a choice of them. And then this, you just uh, pull the trigger here and, oh, and air comes out. Turn it to lock. Why is there all this air coming out of here? Then I thought Colorado potato beetles were attacking the potatoes. Is it the lens dirty? Yes, I'm sure it's got raindrops on it. Ew! So, um, we have some Colorado potato beetles infesting our uh, potato patch here. And there's two different things you can use. Uh, one is a uh, a variation of Bacillic, Bacillus thuringiensis. I can never say this word. Love, I would never spray you with this. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna spray Lynn with this, okay? So you take your spray tip, you've all, you're all pumped up here, and you wanna spray the bottoms and the tops of the leaves. So am I in the frame? Well, it just looks like you're pointing the camera down there and... I'm being paid. Okay. All right, so uh, I think we're done spraying. I'll keep you updated. Did I just whack you with this? I would this? never spray you well. <laughs> Sorry. Then I finally figured out what was going on. Am I in the shot? No, I am. Okay. So we were already with this episode where I was convinced that potatoes were being attacked by uh, Colorado potato beetles, but then I did some research and I realized that I was wrong. These are Colorado potato beetle larvae, and they are on eggplant, and they are destroying these plants. Then I looked around and I thought it was maybe the potato leaf hopper. Because in the pictures I saw, it had these wilted leaves and it looked like that. But, but leaves, leaves have little holes in them as well. So then I did some more webbing. Yeah, I just typed in potato damage. And uh, I came up with the uh, premise that maybe it's uh, some flea beetles. Because I had some mizuna planted last year, which is like this Asian green. It's really tasty. And it was decimated by flea beetles. Which they poke these tiny little holes. It basically makes it look like it's been shot with a shotgun. Shotgun. Yeah, that would be a shotgun. Okay, so that's that solves that solves one part of the problem. I just have to stick my head in the camera. Can you hear me now? He can't always hear you. Okay. So the holes in the potatoes account, leaf accounted for the flea beetle damage, but we're still getting, if you want to get a close-up love, not of the dog. Flea beetles can also spread I, pathogens, which, uh, which I think means like uh, wilt or some kind of bacterial fungus or a mildew. 
So I think that's what I've got here. And the flea beetle damage isn't really, it's not life, super life threatening for a potato plant, but I think I've got a pretty sustained damage here. This is all wilted. And that's, that's bad. That, not wilted, that is dead. Yeah, well that's dead. <laughs> so, um, oh, but let me show you something really cool we found. Oh, what's that? This is the empty chrysalis of a monarch butterfly. How do you know it's a monarch butterfly? Because it has, these black dots cool. right here. And that means it's monarch? It's a monarch. So there was a monarch caterpillar here that ate some of the potato and then attached itself to the leaf and became a chrysalis and then became a butterfly. And we've got a bunch of monarchs in the yard this year, so that's very cool. Doesn't have monarch blight, does it? No, I don't think monarch butterflies spread blight. Is, what are we doing, the Henry shot again? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There's a lot of good answers in this thing called the Gardens Alive catalog. They've got in the back a whole bunch of different, um, what are those things called? Pictures. Pictures <laughs> of what you might have wrong with your garden. And naturally they're gonna suggest some products they have that'll solve it, but it'll tell you what's going on. Like right here, it talks about flea beetles, okay? There's Eric. Yes, yes. The star of the show. Oh no, that's Henry. I'm gonna do two things to kind of help, since they've been, potatoes been kind of decimated here, I'm gonna give them some fish emulsion. And I've got it all wrapped up here in a bag because Henry, Henry got into the fish emulsion. Dogs love this stuff. Um, and um, she chewed a hole in it. As you can see, but she chewed. <laughs> She chewed multiple holes in it, um, and it really, this stuff, it really smells rank, so I keep it in a bag. First of all, shake it up. Ooh, that's, ooh, that looked really gross. Um, <laughs> <No. yeah>. uh. <laughs> so this will give like a little energy boost uh, to the plants, and then we're gonna spray it with the uh, copper spray with the neem spray. The neem has a two-fold effect. Any bugs that are on there right now, it, it, it kills them. And it also stays on the leaf and it, um, oh, now she's licking that stuff. We're gonna give a little, a little, a little shot of juice here. And then we're gonna give the spray a little, cocktail. a little cocktail. This'll, this'll, this'll make them feel great. What if it's a hot day? Can you do it on a hot day too? Does it burn? You want to do it at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. I want to do it in the middle of the day. So the second thing is I've got in this sprayer here uh, the copper spray uh, mixed with some neem. And I used uh, Garden Alive's, uh, it's called Soap Shield, which has copper in it, and then their neem product. You get out of the way. Okay, so that's it. That's that's. I think we figured out it's flea beetle damage. I don't think it'll it'll probably make the crop not as abundant, but we got some green growth here. I think we're going to be fine. What's so funny? Look at your belly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fish emulsion happens. You know?